guys welcome back in this video we are going to look at into mongoose population so it is basically among uh, used to show data for reference document from the other collection so basic basic syntax uh, is like this model that query dot populate and path which is basically the reference path to the uh, collection and uh, select like uh, whatever you want to select the entities and model which is the model name and match parameter like whatever you match within that document and options like limit and all so here i have described the parameters so path as i have said the field key to be populated means what uh, on what entity you want to populate means reference path actually select what you want to select from the uh, from the collection and uh, a model which is actually the model in and match means populate conditions like uh, suppose uh, uh, if something is greater than uh, some values then so uh, that value that type of condition comes under the match and uh, options like if you use options then you can perform many query type operations like uh, limit and count etc so without wasting your time just implement it so here is my older code so I'm just going to modify this code but as you can see this database connection is repeating in all the code so let's just cut it and make a separate file named as db.js and put it here but here mongoose is not present so let's import it mongoose and require that database file here okay and uh, we don't need this one pre hook post hook pre hook and post hook for find so delete it and we also don't need this one so delete it now what i am going to build here is i'm just going to add one more parameter to a student which is a student address and for that address i'm going to create the separate a schema for that address i'm going to create separate a schema so let's first create uh, address a schema a student address equals new mongoose dot schema and it has house number which is of type number city which is of type a string state which is of type uh, a string and country which is of type a string now just reference this in the student schema so that we will be able to populate this value under this a student schema value so to reference this just type address and type will be equal to mongoose dot a schema dot types dot object id and reference will be equal to address this is the model name actually so now let's create a model copy and paste it here name it as address and uh, same name put here and change is to 
student address now let's save a student address to our database so first create a document let address equals new address and let's copy and paste this here and change and change the values so house number let's suppose one two three city pune state maharashtra country india and here is one logic so let's let's uncomment this here is one logic since we are referencing address to the student schema so at the time of saving uh, uh, data to our database address schema data will save first so that we can use address schema ad, uh, id to a student schema so to do that first write address first we have to save address then copy and paste it here and we are going to use address id as i have said so put fourth parameter which i have written here from the student schema and give the id as record dot id record dot id which is the address id and now save so if it has some error then it will throw error otherwise console log error and uh, student day. so without wasting our time just let's run this code so run this code so as you can see here we get our name email and password but we get address as some id which is the reference of this schema so the actual problem is how do we get actual values of ad address that's why the concept of population comes in mongodb so we are going to populate uh, this uh, uh, document so that we can get the actual value so now let's do it so we are going to populate on a student uh, a student schema this one uh, basically a student model so that we can get uh, a student address so now let's write a student dot first find the student by id id which will be equal this id and then write populate populate on what so population is actually done on the reference entity this one because this one has the reference of address model so basically we are going to do population on this and then write execute function error and data if error then throw error else console log data so now let's run this code so as you can see previously we just got only id 
but now we are having address city state and country as well so this is the way we can get the actual values from the referenced uh, collection so now let's perform some other operations here suppose you only want uh, CD so how do we do that so if you only want CD then just put CT here now let's run this code again it will only return CD okay now suppose you want uh, to remove ID and uh, so how do you do that so if you want to remove ID then just write hyphen sign and then ID it will then remove ID so as you can see there is no ID for this address because we have removed ID so if you want to remove some other uh, like uh, other entity also like country then you just write happen country so it will re uh, remove country as well uh, if you want to uh, remove some other uh, things also then you can do that so now as we have seen in the syntax it has path select model and uh, match and option so let's implement this one by one so to write this as the syntax uh, shown here we are going to first write the path which is actually the uh, entity name reference entity name which is address then what operation you want like suppose i want limit o p e r a t i o n l is it right yeah okay so uh, not operation it's options o p t i o n s okay so here set limit to two or something whatever you want if you run that it's showing the result but since we only have one uh, only one uh, yeah, entity means only one uh, document that's why it is showing only one so if you change it to zero let's see what output we are getting i think it will uh, we cannot limit it to zero it always show one or something so it is showing the uh, limit now let's write match so suppose i want to match house number which is greater than 100 so just copy house number and house number greater than or equal to 100 so it will show house number which is greater than and equal to 100 so since 123 is greater than 100 so it is showing but if you change it as less than or equal to it won't work so its address will be null in that case so it is showing null because uh, it can't find any result which is means house number which is less than 100 that's why it is showing null so that's it for the syntax now let's uh, learn additional things suppose
सपोज you want to populate on two entity like address and some other entity then how do you do that so you can populate on multiple things so basically just you have to put another populate on some another value like uh, student parents and you can do whatever operation you want and one more important concept which is if you want to build a social network then you might have uh, to know about the friends of friends and friends of friends of friends then in that case how do you write the query to find out the friends of friends so let's suppose uh, uh, see the one example so let's see this so here she has uh, this one as friend so if you want to know the this friend's friend means friends of friend then how do you do that so in that case you just have to write suppose you have one entity named as friend then suppose you have one entity friend then you just have to write one additional population and which is of type not type path so it will basically find friends of friend and if you want to uh, so this this type of architecture is called uh, uh, two level population if you want friends of friends of friend then in that case you have to pass another population so this architecture is called three uh, three level uh, population so you can do that depending on your need so it will basically return friends of friends of friend and uh, if you delete this so in that case it will give you friends of friend so you can use it in many ways like you can use it in finding blog posts like which blog is related to which blog means one blog is related to another blog another blog is related to another blog then you can find it via this also so that's that's it for this uh, tutorial see you in the next thanks for watching